Hello, hello, hello! So today is not exactly part four of the Lucid Legacy Challenge, which I know you guys might be upset about because our Sim is expecting her first baby, and I know that I really want to know if we're having a boy or a girl, but I needed to build the house. So instead of Lucid Legacy today, I'm bringing you my attempt to build their house. Um, and I say attempt because, oh my gosh, this was a roller coaster of emotions. It, it was a lot, okay? But basically the reason I ended up building the house, um, when I did, even though the Sekimoto family hasn't moved in, so I had to use the online banking mod to get a loan, um, which I figured would be okay because then we'll just have to give more money than I actually took out as a loan back. So it kind of evens out, you know? But I actually had time to build the house uh, when I did build this house. So I decided to take the opportunity and make sure that, you know, uh, we could have a nice house. Because if we're going to have a baby and the Sekimoto family is going to move in, we're going to need to put a house down on this lot very soon. Um, they're not all going to fit into our little shack. So I just had to set aside the two hours and um, build this house. So that's exactly what I did. I am quite proud of how it turned out. It is very small and compact, but Madison built a house and we should be proud of her for that. So it is a four bedroom, two bathroom house. I have a lot of walls in it closed off very closed off to be that to like emulate that farm style and about halfway through building I realized they're literally building a house on this lot so it would be a nicer house like it wouldn't look the way it does look when I'm done with it um because you're, they're building a brand new house so there would definitely <laughs> uh be new upgrades to it but I like the farm style aesthetic, especially for this whole generation. So it it's it's a brand new house, but it's old inside, and that's they're broke. Okay, they don't got a lot of money. Um, we got a baby on the way, and they're just gonna we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, I'm sorry, but as you guys can see, we just did the floor plan. Now I was trying to do something very cool with like the way it looks so it wasn't just a boxy farmhouse but I am not that skilled of a builder so it does by the end of the video become a boxy farmhouse but like I said I very much so like the way it turned out it is not fully furnished I don't even think we have a living room because we don't have any money and I didn't want to take out too big of a loan because I wanted it to be realistic like I wanted us to have to work from the group not work from the ground um, but I wanted us to have to expand and make the house look nicer as we went through in the legacy challenge. So right now I'm trying to do the roof and that's when I realized that the fun, the fun circle house was not going to work because I could not do a roof. And I did cut out a lot of it because I think I spent like 20 minutes trying to get a roof onto this house. And it was not looking good. I also changed the style of the roof because uh, unlike The Sims 4 where you can have multiple roof styles, I believe you can. You can't do that in The Sims 3. They all have to match. So we put a big fortune down to change our roof from tin to uh, sh not shielding. What the heck? Si not siding. I don't know what, I can't think of the word. I can't think of the word. My dad literally does construction. Why in the world can I not think of the word for roof pellets? Is that, That's not what it's called, but that's what my mind wants to say. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I changed the side, no, not siding, of the house. Um, and here I am doing the windows. This voiceover is going all over the place because I did cut out quite a bit because I was just being indecisive. That's what a builder who never builds does is they're indecisive. So we got some CC windows up here and I tried to make it not look like like mathematical where every window had a window below it. I tried to not make it look like that because houses in real life don't look like that. 
did it work? Mm, I'm not quite sure, so we're just gonna go with it, and don't worry, they're not pink by the end of the video, like, they're a brown, so I, they're just pink right now, because I wasn't going to focus on that. I'm putting carpet in the bedrooms. I'm trying to make this house seem like a cheap farmhouse. It's super cute. I really like it, and I really love, like, how small it is, but I have a feeling when we get, like, a dog and have more than uh one sim living in this house which will be in the next episode it might get a little complicated especially in that dining room situation so i'm a little bit scared of that but we'll we'll figure it out okay if madison has to yell at her computer then madison will just yell at her computer like it's fine Ela needs a little bit of tough love sometimes so Anyway, um, I'm currently trying to figure out like the color scheme I want for the house and I absolutely love the color scheme of this house. For the dining room, I do this very, very gorgeous green color and I love it. I love this green color right here. I also love the color green for houses, so I have, I, I'm not surprised, but I truly love the dining room situation, and I'm just so excited to play this family. I'm going to do a live stream the next time I play, so I don't know if it'll be exactly, um, two weeks from now when I post, when I do get to go live, because I want to live stream the family, and we're gonna have the baby, we're gonna move the Sakamoto family in, and it's gonna be, like, a long part, because it's gonna be a live stream, and I just really want to play this family. I want to know what baby gender we are going to get, a boy or a girl, because like I said, I want a boy, I think, um, which is unique, because I always want a girl. Anyway, we're almost done with the color scheme of this house, and I know it kind of sped up really quick right there. I realized I was running out of money, so I do actually take out, I think, 2500 more from the banking mod um, near the more of the end of this video because I wanted to get cows for the farm, so... That's what we did, and I was so excited to furnish this bathroom, and I had no money, so it looks terrible. Yeah, there is a lot of upgrades that we need to do to this house to just make it how I want, um, but we don't got the money. So eventually the house will look much better. It just doesn't look that good right now. We're doing the dining room right now, and like I said, the dining room I think is my favorite room in the house because it's the most decorated, and I was on I only put four chairs because I was being realistic. We're only going to have four sims and a toddler in this house. Maybe by the time we have another toddler, Yumi will be dead, so I still won't need to get another chair, which is good because I don't know where we're going to put it in this dining room. Um, but I also changed the wood color on the chair because I didn't think that with their butt Budget, they would be able to find um, a matching dining room set. They'd have to kind of get chairs and a table that are separate but look the same. So I wanted to add life to this house. I didn't want all the woods to match. I didn't want it to be super full or super empty, but they did just move in. So eventually it'll be more full. I want them to get a dog. They're going to have a horse. They're going to have a bunch of kids, a gaggle of children. So it's going to be a very busy very full house. I'm very excited. Um, and I hope you guys are too. I'm so excited to play this game live with you guys because hopefully some of you will join in and you'll be able to help me name the kid. I don't know what gender. I don't know what the name is. I have no idea what I'm, what we're doing with this baby, but I'm very excited for said baby because who doesn't love babies in The Sims? I also moved the stove from the house into here. Is that realistic? Yes, it is. It could happen um, because we couldn't afford an actual stove. So, and I wanted to fix up this stupid barn. I don't like the barn. I don't like the way it ended up because it is such a big barn and it had to be so big so that I could use the barn doors because I really wanted to use those barn doors right there. So I had to completely destroy the top half of the barn. And I know in the first part I said I wanted to keep the beginning structures as is. I know I said that, but I wanted these barn doors. So I had to adjust the idea a little bit. The barn's still there. It's moved over a couple of squares because 
Um, I realized how little space there actually was on this plot of land. <laughs> um, and I still want that horse. We're going to get a horse, guys. But we also now have cows, and we will have chickens, and we will have a garden, and we will have a dog, and we will have a horse, and we will have children. Okay, I got plans for this series. We're going to make this Sims 3 family the most Sims 3 farm family you've ever met. This is why Sims 3 is superior, because there are so many more options. Um... But we are gonna have, we're going to have cows now, which we're going to get milk from. Cows and chickens in The Sims 3 don't really do much because they're, they're, kind, they're like The Sims 4 version of babies. They're just objects. But you can interact with them a little bit. They don't go anywhere. Uh, the, the, the chicks for the chickens are super cute, and you get eggs and you get milk. Like I said, Sims 3's version of the Sims 4 babies, except less important, you know, because they're cows and chickens, not literally your Sims child. I'm so happy I don't play The Sims 4 anymore, especially with the recent announcement. They're finally giving us generations, and it's like, let The Sims 4 die. Okay, just let it die. I don't know. I don't care. I mean, I do. I it, I love The Sims, hate The Sims 4, and I'm just happy that I can still play. I'm happy I'm still playing The Sims 3 here. I'm happy people still play The Sims 3 because it is the superior Sims game. Uh, I do have Sims 2. Never played it because it did not run well on my old computer, and I never installed it into my new computer. So, Anyway, uh, we're almost done with the video. I'm moving the garden. I do think I will move the garden again, which goes against the original idea. Because it's a garden, so you can't just up and move your plants. Or actually, can you? I don't know. I don't garden. I don't go outside. Um, <laughs> but I will probably move that because I want to get some horse stuff when we do get our horse. But I really, I, we really don't got a lot of space on this plot with all of my, we have to keep the well here, and we have to keep our little shack here, the mother-in-law quarter in the barn, and yeah, I didn't truly think that through because I thought we had more space than we did, but we don't. Anyway, I'm sorry for the rambunctious voiceover, I'm not the best voiceover host, um, but I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope you guys are excited to see the house and have our baby in the next video of this legacy challenge, which will be a live stream. And all news about my live streams are on my community section of my channel, so please keep an eye out for that. We are testing to make sure that I did not break the sound when it fell onto the ground. <laughs>